As one curtain closes on the final weekend of summer, another curtain rises on a spectacular stretch of racing that hits the Midwest over the next few weekends that will play a pivotal role in determining the next USAC Amsoil National Sprint Car Champion. With nearly three quarters of the season in the history books, the season comes down to its dramatic conclusion. The top seven in the USAC National Sprint Car standings have yet to hoist a USAC National Sprint Car title trophy. And after a three-week break to mentally prepare, these driven souls are chomping at the bit to see who's the boldest, who's the wisest, and who can put themselves in position to capture the ultimate prize. Welcome to USAC Weekly Warm-Up, presented by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. First up this weekend is Friday night, September 15th, and the Jim Herdebees Classic at Western Indiana's Terre Haute Action Track. The legendary Herc was unstoppable on the half mile from late 1960 through the 1962 season where he was undefeated 5-0. While no driver has since equaled the mark, Chris Wyndham of Canton, Illinois does happen to have his own current streak of two wins at Terre Haute, albeit in two different kinds of race cars. A silver crown car in May's Sumar Classic and capped off the Midwest portion of the sprint car season a year ago in the Herdebees Classic, where he outdueled Chad Baysflug for the victory in a 30-lap race that saw 26 unofficial lead changes. Wyndham, who's won three times in a USAC sprint car at Terre Haute in his career, trails series points leader Justin Grant by 93 markers heading into this weekend's two events. But this pair of races could be where he makes up a significant amount of ground. Wyndham is the only driver to win USAC features at both Terre Haute and at Hopstad, Indiana's Tri-State Speedway this season. Home of the Hopstad Hustler, held this Saturday night, September 16th, co-sanctioned by the Midwest Sprint Car Series. In fact, Wyndham is one of 14 drivers that have won USAC National Sprint Car features at both Terre Haute and Hopstad in his career. Another driver on that list is Coleman, Alabama's Kevin Thomas Jr., who has been on a roll as of late taking three out of six at last week's USAC CRA California Sprint Week Tour at Calistoga, Watsonville, and Hanford. Recent series champions Robert Ballou of Rockland, California, and Brady Bacon of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, have mastered the task of winning at both the Wabash Valley Half Mile Fairgrounds Oval and at the two drag strips connected by a pair of turns in southwestern Indiana. So is Chase Stockin and John Stanbro, who are both still seeking their first victories of the 2017 season. Justin Grant may very well be on his way to a first USAC National Sprint Car title, but he hasn't yet won at either of this weekend's venues. However, his two most recent series wins have come on half-mile tracks like Terre Haute, and in his last two Hopstad appearances, he hasn't qualified or finished outside the top four. Indianapolis, Indiana's Tyler Courtney leads all drivers with five USAC National Sprint Car victories this season, including the series' most recent event, where he collected a big payday in Sprint Car Smackdown 6 at Kokomo Speedway. Sunshine took third in his most recent Terre Haute visit and has finished in the top three in two of his last three Hopstad appearances. This has been USAC Weekly Warm-Up, presented by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. I'm Michael McIntyre, and on behalf of the United States Auto Club, Racer Max says thanks for watching, and we'll see you this weekend in Western Indiana.